to my channel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, let me fix this top. And today is the first official Makeup Monday. Yes. Um, basically, I kind of decided that too often, too often, I am doing like haul videos or review videos and so what I decided to do is I wanted to do all that on Wednesday and then make Mondays, Makeup Monday, where I actually do makeup looks. Yeah, I feel cute. I feel like a little pixie fairy cuteness. I don't know what I feel like. I just am. But this is going to be the first official Makeup Monday. Um. And basically, yeah, I will just be doing makeup looks for you guys on Mondays now um, because I want to designate a day to me to really unleash my creativity and let me do what I want to do. I almost hit over my 6 plus. So, yes, and today we're doing this. It's, it's basically I wanted to go a little fancy, okay? I wanted to be fancy. Shut up, phone. I wanted to be fancy. It's my birthday weekend. Well, by the time you watch this, my birthday would have passed. But today, Saturday, it's going to be going up Monday. My birthday is Sunday. Okay, you get the situation. You get what's going on. Okay, good. So basically, um, yeah, it's my birthday weekend. So I'm getting a little creative, getting a little fun. And today, I'm doing this invisible liner look. Guys, I've been wanting to do an invisible liner look for so long now. I'm so glad that I'm finally doing it. I've, I've really just wanted to do it for a while, and I added some gold liner in there, you know, just to be fancy. And I, like, went full beat, full crazy. And, yeah, I just am, like, in love with this look and this aesthetic. Um, yes. <laughs> Thank you. So happy. So happy. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to uh, like this video if you like this look and subscribe because there's Makeup Mondays and then Wednesdays that I'm going to be posting stuff and I'm so excited that I'm doing this and I'm finally, you know, on top of things, you know, it just, just sometimes it doesn't happen. If I miss a Makeup Monday, I'm sorry, it might happen. So definitely stick around. Um, and comment down below when is your birthday when do I have to wish you happy birthday and send you like a little gift or something I don't know I might send you a gift maybe you don't know me maybe I will I'll send you like a lip gloss or something I don't know I gotta anyway um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching the video and on to the makeup look and yes I will see you guys in Duh, okay, bye. Hey guys, so let's get started. I'm gonna start off by putting some boing airbrush on my lids as a base to cancel out all that ugly redness. And then I'm gonna take the color Classic from the Tardist Pro Palette just to set my eyelids. And then I'm cutting this piece of tape that's gonna be our invisible liner. I'm gonna put it down so that that stays completely clean. And then I'm going to be going in with Chic Eyeshadow. This is just going to be my starting transition color, um, just to kind of give us a base. And then I'm going to be going in with Whimsy. This is all from the Tardis Pro Palette. Um, I love Whimsy. I love its, like, rich, like, warm, burnt orange color. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And I'm going to bring that onto the lids as well as running it through my crease to give that awesome flawless effect yes just look at it look at how beautiful it is oh my gosh and yeah i'm just gonna keep blending i'm gonna take some more airbrush and really cut my crease and it's really hard to cut my crease so i just kind of worked with the shape and kind of did whatever i felt really worked for me and I kind of just went back and blended and then cut it some more and then blended and cut it some more just to try and give an effect of a little bit of a bigger eye than I actually have and then I kind of cut it out but I went with the color ethereal from the Tardis Pro palette on my lids with some glam in the corner and then I took the 
Tarte Rose Gold Liner. First, I just did, like, the metallic side, but then uh, I thought it was, like, way too, like, cool tone. It was looking weird with this warm eye, so I put some glitter on top of it, as you can see. And then I took off the liner and took some concealer just to clean up the edges, but uh, I couldn't keep myself in frame, ma'am. But that's basically what I'm doing right now is just kind of fixing the edge and just kind of winging it out to give that faux wing effect even though there's not actually anything there. But yes, look at how awesome it looks. I didn't know how I felt about it when I first did it, but now looking back, I love it. And then I'm just going to take some roller lash mascara on my eyelashes. I just wanted a, a mascara to put on my eyelashes. And this one's really good for really curling the lashes. And I was going to have some dramatic lashes. So I had to. And then I'm wearing the Allure Platinum Princess Lashes. Y'all. These are the most beautiful lashes in the world. The entire like Allure like print like Vegas nail collection is amazing like you just need to get your hands on it and then starting with the skin I'm just gonna prep it with my oil control finishing spray just because I want it to control the oil underneath as well as on top and then I'm just going in with my smoothing primer from Smashbox I can't live without it now it's ridiculous and now I'm just randomly singing so mm -hmm. now I'm gonna go in and brighten my face with this wonderful Too Faced this is not Too Faced. This is Benefits Brightening Face Primer. That gal. The greatest thing in the world. How do you not have this? I don't know. You should get this. It's amazing. Okay, okay. And then I hit my camera out of place like a dork, as I am a dork. And then I'm going to be going in with the Clinique Acne Solutions Foundation, as well as my LA Girl Pro Coverage you know, foundation, you know, the, the, just the perfect mix of everything, and I'm just plopping it um, all over my face, um, just the first layer, just to kind of get the base down, I feel like I put a little bit too much white in this mixture, but it's fine, but then this brush, guys, this is the It Cosmetics Buffing Foundation Brush, you need to get this in your life, it is one of the best foundation brushes I've ever used in my entire life. I literally was like a sponge girl for my foundation and then I started using this brush and now I'm officially just all about the freaking brush man. I'm all about the brush. If you ask me what's the best brush for foundation, I'm going to tell you the A Cosmetics brush. And then I'm just putting a second layer on just because I want a little bit more coverage but I still wanted that salicylic acid to treat my skin so I just, you know. Put a second layer on and tapped it in the same way. And, like, you can already see the coverage. Like, you know it's good when it makes you look slightly dead inside. That's how you know you have a good full coverage foundation. If that's what you like. I'm just saying. Just look just look at the coverage. It's so beautiful. What? Oh, I'm talking to my mom. I'm like, what am I? T who am I talking to? I'm talking to my mother. <laughs> And then I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape and some eye cream from Benefit. It's potent eye cream. And these two are perfect together because the Shape Tape likes to dry my under eyes out. So I just mix the two together on my hand and then I put it under my eyes. And my eyes love me for it because it's full coverage. And it also doesn't dry me out and my highlight goes on really nicely now that I mix the two. So it's an amazing concealer when you mix it with some stuff. And then I'm just taking the Bye Bye Pores Press Powder and I'm just taking a little tapered brush and setting my under eyes. And then I'm taking the Blurring Foundation Brush from It Cosmetics. And this is another brush. Like, I cannot live without this brush. Because it picks up enough product to set your face but also is a, just a nice slight finish. And then I'm just taking some Whimsy underneath my eyes. Um, and I'm not winging it out like I usually do. I'm trying to keep it a little bit more focused just underneath the eye and not bringing it up to connect with this invisible liner. Um, and so you can see the difference, how much it makes. Like, I look more alive now. I'm, like, alive. That's so great. And then I'm just taking the brush I used in my crease, and I'm just using it to kind of buff out some of the color so there's not, like, a stark line there because that's ridiculous. Then I'm going in with my NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil just because I want to open my eyes a little bit 
it was they, they were just very small and I was looking dead and you can already see the difference in how much it just opens up the eye and then I'm just doing my brows so I'm just taking some gimme brow and I'm just taking some pomade because I can't find my freaking Cabral still it's still missing rest in peace Cabral I will find you one day <laughs> But yeah, so that I just filled it in and was like, okay, cool. Yeah. And I was really struggling with it because brows are brows and brows are hard to do. And brows just ain't that fun all the time. But they look fabulous, don't they? I think they look so fabulous. And then I'm taking my Cosette uh, brush, the number I do not know, but you can definitely um, check it out. Because this brush is amazing and I'm taking some Smashbox, the little three piece contour kit that I got from Sephora um, as a free gift. I'm taking the coolest tone because I want to do a little contouring. So I'm just taking it on my Kazette brush. Oh, such a good brush. And then you should have seen this coming. I was doing some hula. I want to bronze out my face. I wanted to have a little bit more warmth and not just the coolness on my face. And it just brings a little bit more life into my face. And then I'm just taking some California blush from Benefit as well and just putting a little blushy blushy on my face. Blushy blushy is the cutest. And then I'm using an oldie but a goodie. I have fallen in love with it again. My poor broken Becca Moonstone highlighter. I forgot how much I love it. It's amazing. And then I'm just setting my face again with the same oil control setting spray. Uh, <laughs> Just to make sure that the oil is controlling the hot mess that it is. And then I swallowed some and it was disgusting. And then I'm just going in with Max Flesh Pot on my lips. I've never worn this color. This was the first time I was wearing it. And it, to me, like, I can't see much of a difference from Myth. But I don't care. Like, <laughs> it's my favorite neutral. And then I'm taking Blushing Margarita from Buxom. Because, like... How can I not? And then I'm just, you know, fixing my hair. Yes, I am because it's a hot mess. And that is the finished look. And I will let, uh, like, live live take over from here. So, yeah. Bye. All the is from the I know it's weird. I'm filming an outro. Liv, yo, you okay in the head? Yes, I am okay in the head. Um, I I decided to film an outro. I don't I don't know why. Like I haven't been doing it lately. But yeah, this is this is the finished look. It's so pretty. It's so I feel like it's really glowy. It's very flawless. Well, just the highlight. Just take a minute on the highlight. But yes, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace and love. <laughs>